working great. Okay, thank you all. Thank you all, yes. Yeah. Oh, yay. All right, so. Now we can kind now of we see can talk. The, the messages. So we've been, the focus today is on farm girl's diagnosis. We've talked a little bit about her going to the dermatologist. Do you want me to hold that or are you okay? I'm good. And uh, she went. <laughs> she went for a, a checkup, regular checkup. But well, I, I go guess, once a year, generally. Yeah, so hope, but now we're going to go more often. Well, now I'm supposed to go every three months. So. So we we'll have. See. We have. We had originally. She, she went in, and they burned and cut things. And if you watch our channel, you might have seen us mentioning and her with in the past, yeah, and all the little stabs and burns and so while she was there, the doctor said, I don't like this mole on your arm. Of all the moles, this one we're going to biopsy. Because it was a little starfish looking thing. Yeah, it was scary. It was irregular Spiky edges. Looking. Okay. Yeah. And if you leave here with nothing else today, leave with the warning, go to a dermatologist. Definitely. Don't self-diagnose. Every year. Go to to a dermatologist just like a dentist just these, like your eye these doctor. things are treatable yes. and curable if you catch them in time yes and so we have been in that in this limbo so what happened was yes she saw that she said it doesn't look right she took a big chunk of skin of tissue scooped out a quarter sized chunk left a hole in her arm sent it for a biopsy and we started learning about all of this stuff and we're going to talk to you about that and it, it was two weeks and i didn't hear anything so i thought great so we forgot fine. about it everything's fine she got a message when i was driving out of the driveway she got a call i hope you can hear us okay the wind's kicking up and we've got these little mics on um she got the call i was pulling out of the driveway and they and she was on the phone with the lab and they said what you have you need to go back to the dermatologist because you have a precursor to melanoma, which is the deadliest of skin cancers. Well, it, it was a atypical melanocyte proliferation. Okay. Atypical melanocyte like proliferation or something yeah. therein. Um, so, so then w she went back and had surgery and they took a large piece out of her arm hoping to get all of the affected tissue and she has healed even see it. incredibly well yeah this okay. was like two and a half weeks ago then the the, the doctor said well we're gonna of course okay. send this for biopsy to make sure you're clear that we got it all yeah with this uh it was a big with, like with the scoop yeah like Di with, um, with diamond the surgery. shaped, like huge yeah. diamond shaped piece of skin. It was gross. And then <laughs> another two weeks later, we got a call saying, uh, ooh, oops, it's melanoma. And yeah. we just became, we were bad. We became basket cases. Well, this was on a Thursday night. Well, evening, right before they closed. And they're not open Fridays. And of course, they're not open Saturdays or Sundays. So Thank we had to go people. all weekend. Yeah just like oh my god <coughs> what and you can't um, i don't know if you can imagine some of you can some of you have very very harrowing tales of your own you've lost loved ones to oh, cancer yeah. many of you we know we we feel your pain um but some of you may not know and the, and the, the, the feeling is is so gloomy and so yeah. hopeless when you are told you have a deadly thing in on your body and you can't talk to anybody till monday you, we don't know what the, we were calling doctor's offices anyway so the the doctor that performed the surgery said yeah it's melanoma and you need to come back in and we need to cut you open and start taking tissue take some more tissue and then leave you surgically open overnight we'll bandage it up and then we'll do it send that out for biopsy and then the next day we'll know and and i said no that's that's not right that well is not i right. said to her i don't want to go home with it open and then have to come back and get renumbed and maybe cut more or be sewn up i I'm, i don't want to do it in two stages like that yeah so i i we started looking i found a a, a doctor i found a practice where they 
do Mohs, M-O-H-S, Mohs, look well, it up. Well, that's what she was saying, that it was going to be Mohs. But, but we it's... didn't understand why she was saying they're going to open you up and leave you open. So what you need is a Mohs, not just a Mohs surgeon, a surgeon who can do this, named after the doctor that created this. Yeah. It's basically a, a procedure where they take tissue, they go in the other room and they put it under a microscope, they check it for the whatever, basal cell carcinoma or... or Melanoma, melanoma or whatever. whatever you have, they see if they got all of it. And then if there's still more on the margin, they come and they cut more off. Then they bring it, they do layers. They keep testing it until they know that it's and completely they remove, gone. And, and so it's it's incremental, yeah. which, is, which is helpful because they don't take a big part of your arm unless they have to. And so we've been, we've been pretty terrified and <laughs> it is... And we just want to talk about the experience because we, this is our lives. We, sh we share things with you, personal things. And, and, if, it, and if, if our story can help anybody, well, that's great. But the main takeaway is please go and see a dermatologist. Definitely. If you have a relationship. Um, Y'all are making me cry <laughs> being so sweet, first of all. I, I Sorry. Can't, I, cannot, I cannot tell you. Thank the, you. The, I cannot tell you the scale, the depth of emotion and fear and, and all of the, just everything we've been both together feeling and, and apart, separate and apart feeling and, and dealing with. <coughs> this, is, this is my soulmate. From my perspective, it is... When I when I know people who when I talk to people who've lost a spouse, a widow, widows or widowers, I say, I can't imagine your pain. I yeah. can't. Yeah. Because I have someone that I love yeah. so deeply that I can't even bring myself to the edge of that imagining. And this weekend I was at that threshold looking over into that darkness and it is Words cannot it describe the, 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 the depression and the anxiety and the fear. And I don't want you to feel that. Well, <laughs> yeah, she said, I, I kind of didn't want to tell you. And I'm like, yeah, you are the love of my life. Him and, to have to go all weekend thinking about that. And I, <laughs> I, I am, you feel like a hopeless nobody without my, without my best friend. So. Sad. That it was the fear we were faced. She's faced with her own mortality. I can't explain it. So just let's let us just say that this puts things in perspective. Yeah. This kind of wake up call. Yeah. Um, it's humbling. It's depressing. It causes anxiety. Like m most of us who've not dealt with ang anxiety and depression have never known. It, your anxiety level was. Uh, yeah, like I don't generally feel anxiety. Like I, I but, that's very fortunate. But, yeah. But I felt like, I don't know, like I couldn't breathe almost. I and felt just, heat on the back of my neck, like a, yeah. like a pressure there and pins and needles here. Yeah. And this has been going just on for days. overwhelmed feeling. And you may notice we're speaking in past tense. That is not because we've got this sorted out we're still in limbo but we got very proactive i put her in a truck and we shot that we shot into wilmington north carolina and we went to i found the best surgeon that does this most yeah. we went into the office i wasn't not going to be making phone calls i yeah. already left a message on saturday this was monday we drove there we went into the office and we said we need help we are very scared. And they said, okay, tell us what's going on. And they said, how, this, because I said, I wanted to go to a, a completely different practice and they do everything in house. And they said, yes, our oh, yeah. doctor is the best in Wilmington. I said, yeah, everybody says that, but they, <laughs> they comforted us to a degree yeah. saying they didn't. And here's the thing, when you get in this position, the, you these people may want to tell you everything's going to be all right but professionally they have to stand back and say 
I don't really know if yeah, everything's yeah. going to be all right. Because if I tell but you, probably. But they said. They said, "Don't worry about it because that's not going to help." This sound anything. from what we told them, they said said it sounds like it was addressed in time. We still don't know. Uh, the scariness continues because we had this. We had to schedule for weeks away from now. Yeah. And we're going to get on a standby, and hopefully, if there's a cancellation, with she'll be taken in. Yeah. And and really, the reason that we looked elsewhere is because I started talking to people who have had it done, the most surgery, and they said, "No, you don't." go home after it's opened up you sit there they take it in the other room check check it out and see if there's more and then they come back and if they need to take more they do go check it out again and I was like what I wonder why they're telling me that I have to go home and come back the next day and redo it and then and then what go home again that night if they have to cut more and the other thing is we're talking about things being dragged out so yeah so uh, as always when we do videos like this we're just hoping this reaches if only one person and pushes them in the right direction and the direction is when you go to a dermatologist it's the best case scenario if you go to one who can do in-house all the things that you may need done. Like no, have a lab there. Yes. Have all the In tools. other words, hey, you, you don't expect, what do we? what is a, a great saying? Expect the best, the best but be prepared, prepared for, for the, the worst. worst. Okay. So <laughs> being prepared for the worst where skin cancer is concerned is finding a dermatologist. And I'm sorry to say this. I'm sorry to all the other dermatologists. But find a dermatologist that has an in-house lab in case. Yeah. In case they say, uh-oh, this looks really bad, then guess what? They can take it in the other room, put it under a microscope, and say, yay or nay, this is melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. Yeah. You can eliminate process of elimination right there in the moment. It's a real-time situation. You don't want to play with your life and go to Cousin Harry who's not equipped to do that. <laughs> so are you, I got an in with Cousin Harry. <laughs> are, you, are you hearing me? So yes, we are in limbo. Yes, we are still fearful. Um, but you know what? This hopefully is a growing it's, teaching time yeah. for us. Uh, and they say that it's generally slow moving, depending on what yes. kind it is. We don't know what kind it is. But uh, they're supposed to get more reports at the new doctor's office. So hopefully they'll be able to read those reports and tell us, hey, this is not the really bad kind. Yeah. <laughs> you know? uh, kayak. Oh, by the way, people, I should have said this at the onset. We're not, we're not giving any medical advice, really. We're just saying no. experience-wise and, and we're telling you to seek medical advice. You always get into this problem with youtube and other platforms where they say you're giving misinformation we're not giving we're not diagnosing we're not telling you how to treat we're just telling you to go to a doctor yeah. okay and kayak asked about what mose is again he's got some rough patches on his ear oh yeah i had that too is uh, on on both sides and the doctor said that's never going to go away you're going to have to keep getting it burned off. I've told the story many times. Yeah. I packed it with uh, Himalayan salt. Both sides, I made a poultice, and I did that several times when it was active, and it's been gone for years. Yeah. And if I ever feel a little roughness, it's the high point where the sun hits. Those, and my, from what they tell me, that's more of a basal cell carcinoma yeah. kind of thing, yeah. which is, isn't the deadly form, it's but benign. I don't want any of that. Yeah. So just with those trace minerals from those those salts, Himalayan salts, sea salts, and things like that, it seems to do something pretty marvelous. It really does. So a any um, benign little moles and stuff, like things that don't look weird, you can do that. You can put this poultice on. We did this to our dog. The he sea had salt, or not big, sea salt, Himalayan salt. Poe had a big red tumor grow, a little small red tumor, but it was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. All, where his nipples are on his belly by his by his penis. And I put I packed that with Himalayan salt, uh, did it twice, and it started to turn bright, bright red and shrivel up. 
and now it's fallen off. Yep. <laughs> Unbelievable. And it turned black. This is something right that I figured out because I just remember every time I go in the ocean, my cuts and scabs heal up really quickly. It's pretty amazing. So I started just literally putting uh, salt, Himalayan salt, yep. or sea, good sea salt. I salted a big mole that I had and two days later yeah. it was basically lifting off and i pulled it off Probably so have done that. <laughs> I, and we don't want to sound dark and gloomy and no. depressing but the, the the things that i observed you know it's it's almost inexplicable but i i will tell you that if I have faced the fear of death, my own mortality. I've kind of dealt with that and to, to a degree sometimes. I've watched my mother die and literally sat with her while she went away. And we're very emotional right now. But not my best friend and my soulmate. Never imagined that. And I did. And it was horrific. So, so it's, it's scary. Not. It's scary. So experience is what this is. It's teaching. It's yeah. expanding us. And hopefully, you know, we live through these things and we are broader as human beings. Builds character. I, I, I want to... <laughs> I want to give her more love. I want to give the world more love. It's like I, you feel like, my God, it's so fragile. It is so fleeting. You know that life, if you're our age, life has taught you that it goes like a river. Yeah. And it, you can't get it back. It, it, you can't go back in time. You go through time with the river. But you just, we have to love we have to appreciate it teaches you so much and this is just the moment the moments of fear that have expanded my way of thinking and it happens quickly doesn't it and, may, and and it humbled me a little bit more i guess is what i'm grappling to say uh, and i know so well, many we know so many of you have gone through this and lost so much and yeah. it, it, it and we know that your words can express your pain and your loss. And we, we, we feel you a little bit more than we did before. Oh, yeah. Uh, Melanoma. Hey, that Brian, did, is she okay? Like Mrs. Landed in stage three melanoma. Uh, I was just reading about that, how... The sun does not create melanoma on your skin. It does. It does create um, the other ones, the, the, cell. the benign yeah. cancers. But this is not just related. like sometimes, like you said, people find it on their bottoms of their feet, on their hands, under their fingernails. So that's why you really need to get checked every year and. Yeah, that's the best advice we can give you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please go in. Um, and this was caught very early, so yeah. like that mole was not there more than I'd say three months. So, so a, three or four months. There are there are exacerbating circumstances that led us to this these these dark moments that we've been going through. Things like um, she has had glandular oh just issue. swollen swollen glands a little bit under her arms yeah. she's had some swollen glands and was feeling tired and so you know little i just things thought like it was that. from covid like leftover yeah symptoms from covid yeah because so i had long covid that that kind of exaggerates things and it makes things scary so. yeah yeah um, uh, thank you. Thank you guys for your Yeah, thank for you, Freedom, Reigns, and Mr. C, and, and James Unrich. Sorry about misspelling. And Brian uh, Bartola. The thumbnail, surgery. <laughs> we were rushing to, to get a live up. Um, we didn't want to wait to see what happens and then maybe, you know, not want to do a live. I don't, who knows what, you know, we want to do. What? <laughs> I didn't want to wait 
to do a live. I wanted to do this oh, while, oh, oh, while right, it's right. happening, while we're going. I know. I was it. saying, why should why should we do it now? Why don't we just wait until it's over and we say everything's fine? We will. Hopefully <laughs> Which we we'll, will do. Yeah, yeah, we'll be here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, sharing that with you all. So, again, one, one of the really in, interesting things that we learned in all this is she read that um, sun is not what causes melanoma, sun exposure. Yeah. In fact, you learned that vitamin D and sun exposure helps heal, heal melanoma. melanoma. Yep. Don't forget that. Uh, ironically, we what we sun. read is, is that um, sunscreens can cause cancer. Think yeah, about all these things so now, and do your research and find the types of sunscreens that are not dangerous because your 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 skin is your largest organ in on your body yeah. and your it is porous and you're putting those chemicals right into this organ that is your skin and it goes to other organs. Right. So if it's carcinogenic, then that's extremely dangerous. So know your products. Manufacturers don't care. Unless they're your family, don't think they care about your health. They care about their their sales reports. And I'm about to do a lot of research to find the best sunscreen. Let, so I'll let you know what I find out. Let me repeat that. Sun exposure, as Farm Girl has researched, does not cause melanoma. It causes other cancers, which are more benign. Melanoma, the deadliest skin cancer, is not caused by sun exposure. And when you're putting on sunscreen, if you're not putting on the proper type of sunscreen, you probably are doing more harm to your body than good because you're putting poison in your cell membrane to prevent something from hurting you. Think about that. So, yeah, research, yeah. research, research. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. So, what else was I going to say? I was going to say something else. Let's take a look it. at your, uh, um, your... Mike says he's had melanoma and Mohs surgery. Cancer-free yeah. now. Hoping the best. Oh, me. that's Thank wonderful. You. That's wonderful. Show, yeah. your, show your injury. You can't really it's see just, it. I know. It's healed so well. Let me it's been like closer. two and a half weeks. My girl is such a healer. Yeah, I'm so lucky. And I've been putting moringa oil on it and so, arnica. Oh, and somebody on here recommended mor moringa. Oh, yes. Thank remember, you, whoever who you are. Yeah. I got the pills, the powder, and the um, oil. And it's really great for moisturizing your face, yeah. too. So. <laughs> Let's see. My let's read some comments. My doctor just told me I'm low on vitamin D. So important. Yes, you need so to get important. that up. Go outside, get it on your skin. Like take off as many items of most... clothing as you can and just get that sun for okay. sure. All right. Yeah. See, you know, we don't we hope we're just overreacting, but um, yeah. It's scary. It's scary when you it get that scary. kind of diagnosis, and uh, yeah, we feel for all of our friends out there who uh, yep. who have dealt with this. I know it's going to be fine, but I don't know. It just makes me nervous. <laughs> and I'm yes, I'm so sorry Having for you two all of you and that and have your adventures this. is a highlight for many of us. Oh, thank you, Alan. Uh, this adventure is one of. All of us want you to get through soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Caltech 007. So okay. glad that you're you're fine. That's so awesome. It's yeah. wonderful and to Brian. hear your stories. And as I was saying, um, I've 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 met with people and I've seen their pain from their loss of loved ones. Yes, we know that we're all going to die, uh, and that's inevitable. Yeah. But, you know. We don't want to. Facing that. So, so, let, me, let me move this lamp a little bit. You hold that. Ask how that uh, how that wind does on these microphones. Yeah. It was nice out here a little while ago, and hey, now it's... How does that the wind... The wind is picking up, and it's how does a that little wind chilly. wind affect these microphones? Because we took the windscreen off. Yeah. Is it muffled? Where is mine? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, here it is. 
Can y'all even hear me? <laughs> Do I need to repeat everything I said? <laughs> Thanks, Robert. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we uh, we've been talking about melanoma. Obviously, that's the headline. Um, it uh, and Mohs surgery, which were scheduled for, which it looks like a lot of you have gone through, and we, it's been fine. So and uh, we, that makes me feel yeah. Good. That's see. Thank that, you. That is wonderful. That's that's another good reason we're 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 talking to yes. you. Uh, we didn't know we'd hear so many stories that so many of you have had Mohs surgery. Um, again, we, in hindsight, we wish we had known more about all of this. We wish we had known more about melanoma. Uh, this is a reminder to learn these things. These are, these are important things to learn and understand, just like CPR is important to learn. I want you and I to go take a CPR class. I did. I am CPR certified. Okay, well, let's but do it again. I think I need to renew it. Let's renew actually. it. Let's both go together yeah. and learn CPR. I, that's just a side note. But as far as uh, uh, your skin and skin cancer, uh, we should all be knowledgeable about this. And we should know, I'll say it again, which dermatologist we should go to. Be very selective and go to places that are equipped in case they find something yeah. bad. So you're not waiting weeks for biopsies, then doing excisions, and then waiting weeks for secondary biopsies, and then finding out you've got something really bad, and then waiting weeks for a surgeon. Go to a, a, a surgeon, that uh, a dermatologist yeah. that is equipped to deal with anything they find. It would have been nice to just have that done, and then it would be behind us. I guess, I'm guessing this is, the, this. Yeah, this is the latest in this in this field is this MOHS, M-O-H-S. Well, I think it's been around for a long time. Well, it could still be yes. the, the newest. Um, yeah. But somebody was asking what it is. It's named after the doctor, I guess, Dr. Mose, Dr. Yeah. Mose mm -hmm. or Dr. Mo. Mm -hmm. um, and now there's some light that we were reading about. Uh, Melafine. Called Melafine. That Melafine. They just, I don't know, they just look through, I guess, the, the end of the light and they can see what you have and yeah. where it is. So that's pretty amazing. We're going to uh, tell our new doctor about that. <laughs> we don't know. Uh, James said asbestos related question mark. We don't know what would cause her to have melanoma. Yeah. We can't really speculate right now because nothing comes to mind. But uh, it could be hereditary. Her father has had it. Yeah, he had it. She Just hasn't once. even spoken with him about yeah. this yet. And I'm asking her to call him, but she's like not wanting to panic people. Well, he just had it cut. Out. He told me he had it cut out, but it could have been the Mohs surgery, and I just assumed that it was the excision and excision. I wish you had called him right so away. I call. Him. I will call him. <laughs> she didn't want to tell our children. No, nobody. Uh, anyway. Not till it's done, and so they don't have to worry about it. But it's all right. We're not sitting outside on our porches once again, folks. I don't understand. Huh? Oh. Um, oh, you live in the Finger Lakes. Ah. Mics oh, are working fine. I grew up on a Finger Lake. Uh, Cayuga Lake. And you so skied, that's fun. And skied and swam there. and. Yep. Uh, yeah, the most procedure is quite often there. a second surgery option as it was for me. Well, that's what it'll be for her. Greetings in Belgium, Jim Fast. Thanks for joining us. Uh, um, I feel like I had a bunch that I wanted to say, and now I don't, can't think of it. Well, I uh, <laughs> it was like uh, testing the depths of... Uh, love and fear for me like when she told me this I, I was like i remember when we were kids and i said to my then girlfriend <laughs> i don't love you and i said that <laughs> it was a dumb thing to say sounds like a dumb thing to say How rude but she was 19 i was 23 <laughs> and i had left a girl and i and i'm just felt really bad. I'm a sensitive person and I yeah. and I loved that woman. She was a woman eight years older than me and I was a young guy. 
but I knew it wasn't the right relationship. And you didn't want to go right back into saying. And then, <laughs> yeah. And so I left her. I left a, a, an established relationship. We lived together. And I meet this beauty. And I'm like, I don't want to tell you I love I don't love you. How How ironic that I find myself in my darkest hour of my life when I'm worrying about this person that I, and then I, what I'm saying is I realize how profoundly I love her more Aww, than anything so in the sweet. world. I wish that it didn't make you feel bad. Oh. <laughs> Please get a second opinion. Well, uh, we're not going to New York, but thank you for your concern. Yeah, we are getting a second this, opinion. This is a second opinion. Yes. Uh, yes. My brother passed away from multiple melanoma cancer. So sorry to hear oh, this. I'm so sorry. sorry, Daniel, to hear that. So that means that you need to get checked probably twice a year. You know, the dermatologist uh, nurse was saying, we're asking people to come three times every three months now. Yeah. Once you've been, once you've had one melanoma. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So if you've had a melanoma, go to this. The, the dermatologist regularly. So I'll be there. I'm always like, eh, I don't want to go to the doctor. <laughs> but I'm going to, for sure. Hey, Mark. Hey, Bob. Hey, Alan. Oh, Alan, you've been here since the beginning. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, heredity is part of the issue. and But you can turn those genes off and on. I Somehow I feel like being sick this past summer just lowered my immune system and my body's been trying to come back from that yeah. and i think that maybe for some reason this just slipped through because of that so i need to kick my immune system back into high gear which i've been trying to do thank you you are with herbs and food right. and not drinking and you know yeah. trying to I'm, i haven't I even hesitate to take any NSAIDs or painkillers, you know, when I have pain. I just, I'm trying not to do all that, just to let my body heal things up. Although every once in a while I do, because it hurts. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. So, what were you going to say? I don't, I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. Puts things in perspective. Yeah, uh, yeah. We said most of what we wanted to say to you today. Uh, I just, I wrote notes about. Yeah. About the stuff we wanted to say, but it's all, it's all summed up in saying, go to your dermatologist. Uh, yep. If we can get one person to go yeah. <laughs> and it saves your life, yeah. we feel better. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Okay. For and we'll sure. we'll definitely keep keep you updated and we're gonna try to get her in sooner rather than later. Yeah. And also we're gonna or I'm gonna be doing more videos for this channel. Yeah. Uh, we have some fun things coming up actually and we're okay. and we're developing our utreon space yes farm girls got a great new channel there now yep uh, go check that out <clears throat> there you know we we totally understand that it's it's another it be, platform it's a hardship <laughs> it's a hardship to yeah. say hey follow us here follow us here follow us there yeah what we've been doing is searching for an alternative to youtube that's that where we don't feel so oppressed and just the constant Censored. changing of the policy and, yeah. the, and the content uh, uh yeah. you know the it's so random the the way they demonetize videos and then you you know you what do you do age restrict well you talk with them and you get them to, and then oh, they'll, oh. and then they'll re-monetize it yeah they you say appeal. you can yeah you, you can appeal you can appeal in 30 days but these you know they say oh no it's not a personal it's the algorithms that are age restricting or demonetizing <laughs> your videos for no obvious reason 
and you have to go through all these appeals. It, it just, it's just been so ridiculous and difficult and adversarial. But now we're back. We appreciate YouTube, you know, yes. to the degree that they, they yep. do allow us a content uh, platform. But we've been just to be on the safe side. We're developing. We try it. We've been trying Rumble. It's very hard to get going on Rumble. Uh, we feel like this Utreon platform is great because it can function like uh, Patreon and it functions like YouTube. And you can join as a member. You can help support by by buying a membership or just be f just free. Just yeah. watch videos that we put up. For and free. we already have a lot of videos on there. So check it out. And we appreciate you all so much yes we have we have oh sorry about the wind Can it's you, crazy we're still with you though <laughs> uh. it's utreon u-t-r-e-o-n yeah utreon.com slash c the letter, the letter c. c slash banshee moon or exo man yeah we have two channels this is a lovely day it's a beautiful it day. is a beautiful day and I like this breeze. It's probably causing a lot of distortion with the noise. It's cold. <laughs> what What's the name? The Utreon. No, it's U, the letter U T R U T R E O N dot com. And uh, hair's getting crazy. Just think. Just think. YouTube, Patreon. If they were melded into one where you can watch videos for free and or support your creators, your favorite creators. Um, yeah. Thank you, Ruben. And um, James, thank you uh, for talking about tea tree oil. I know that's really good stuff. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know. She that uses, I smell this, that but... on you daily. Yeah. She puts that on all the little bumps and nicks because it's antiseptic. Yeah. Um, I didn't even think about using it for we, this. Thank you for watching Redneck Prepper. We uh, we always appreciate fact, seeing you. We can use that as a base for the poultice mm -hmm. of salt. I'm still going to salt this. I just wanted to leave it open to show everyone, you know, what it looks like and how it's healing. But uh, I'm going to put tea tree oil and salt, sea salt, or Himalayan salt. Put a big Band-Aid on there and leave it. I think that will no, help a lot. No Mac, no Mad Mac, no snow. I got up this morning and I looked outside and the light was peculiar and the driveway looked white and I thought, oh my God, it snowed last night. Because <laughs> I'm looking through that leaded glass window and, yeah. looked, and I could only see a white parts of the driveway and I thought, it snowed. It's actually warming up here. Yeah. Yeah. It, we can uh, show you what a beautiful day it is. It's a mess. <laughs> and we don't have any little birdies there for, to show them. Ooh, my arm got stiff. Yeah. Oh, there we are. There we are. Okay. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, we're we're gonna get we're gonna sign off here in a minute. We just wanted to share our scary journey with Melanoma <laughs> with you. Remind you to go get your skin checked by yes, uh, a dermatologist, definitely. and remind you to learn about melanoma before rather than later and being terrified like we've been learn yeah. about it and find a well-equipped um, dermatologist dermatology center you know where they have practitioners that uh, sometimes they even they say dermatology and skin surgery centers yeah. you know that's sometimes in the name which the idea. Wow. Holy That's mackerel. windy. That's, how about that? I bet that makes noise on these microphones, huh? Is that windy? Is that, uh, is that loud? Uh, I'm sure it is. Uh, also, don't forget, we have some playing cards coming in soon. We had to order another batch. So we have a pre-order button up in case you want to pre-order some of those. playing cards. Those are really something. <laughs> Oh, and if you go to, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like, Robert. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Philip. Nine melanomas in the past eight years. Whoa. Wow, Philip, that's amazing. See, See but you're alive because you are smart and you go to the dermatologist. 
to I'm going to figure it. out how to turn that gene off, and I'll let you know. <laughs> I got to do some research. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get on it. Time is of yes, the essence. Exactly. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, we did a Hank and Roxy video. Oh, yeah. Some of you guys really like the Hank and Roxy comedies that we do. And we always have fun, although it it's silly as hell. Very silly. They are silly as hell. Very campy. For some reason, we like it. It's just. It's just fun and funny. Yeah. So we did one called Five Card Stud, and it's available on Utreon, U T R E O N dot com <laughs> slash C, C, the letter, slash Banshee Moon. But it's for subscribers right now. And then later on, uh, we, we released it for only subscribers for a week, and then it'll be available to the, to the free members. Yeah. And become a free member today and help us grow those channels. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> we'll put a link. We'll put a link in the in the description below. Uh, so also, please, as always, we want to remind you to read the description below in case it, and it changes from time to time. We may add information. Also, the comments or the comment section can be very helpful if you're oh, interested yeah. in Mohs surgery and survivor stories there's a lot of people that are, will likely leave their stories about their oh, encounters yeah. with uh, and good information we've gotten yeah. a lot of good information okay so do the, that from the comments thank you all um john cox says your story is almost identical to yours in the same place on her arm what to maybe to his to wife his? jen and she did exactly as you and that was 15 years ago, and she is fine now, living in Arizona. Oh, nice. Thank you, John. That's awesome. That's, that's a very encouraging yeah, thank story, you. and we're so glad that your loved one is, is doing well. Yep. I feel, I, I feel good. It's just, I don't know. Philip. I let this anxiety Phillip, get the best my, of me, uh, My well-intentioned friend, Philip, you are, to a degree, quite wrong about li limit about the sun we, we may have missed that part and a lot of us have been wrong about that you do need sun exposure definitely uh, you, you got to get that vitamin lack of, D. Lack natural of, vitamin lack D. of sun exposure can cause all manner of malady uh, including depression and anxiety yeah. and believe it or not skin cancer yeah the farm girl was reading and researching now we don't you know you just have to glean what you can and believe what you will yeah. But she was researching and learned that melanoma is not caused by sun exposure. The other cancers basal that are cell benign that are, are more benign, like yeah. squamous and basal cell, are um, yes caused by the sun. Can be caused can by be. can be caused by yeah. sun exposure. But if you and also use healthy sunscreen. If you're going to put sunscreen on, make sure it's not carcinogenic you know in other words you, you give you give yourself cancer with something that's supposed to keep you from getting cancer. exactly how ironic and, and sad i mean i've heard it before but i haven't i mean i think there should be psas out there to, to warn people you know yes yeah. now when this to, happened and i need to research what the good sunscreens are so when i'll we, let you know when we first started worrying about this when, when they first took the biopsy before we got the result i told I, I tried not to say I told you so, but I reminded her, this is why I've always told you, stop laying in the sun for an hour at a time. I still tell her, limit it. I don't think an hour is a long time. Keep it reasonable. <laughs> Keep it reasonable. Well, you do have, you did have had a lot of- I do have sun damage. Sun yeah. damage. Yeah. So. Right. Look, everybody's talking. Uh, oh, good, Th James. Philip said he flew at high altitudes and that gave him problems oh i consumed too much sun i became colorless hmm. i just made an appointment with the dermatology for follow-up oh that's awesome james yeah uh if we can if we can influence and encourage any of you to do the same we highly recommend it please oh, please yes. see your 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 doctor they're saying uv light uh, another thing that i uncovered was um fluorescent lighting can help melanoma to develop so that's another thing don't 
Isn't don't that stay. isn't that again ironic? I know. Like, you're staying indoors stay and you're avoiding the sun, and the thing that's above you indoors, radiating on you, is causing can cause cancer. Exactly. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Just people. remember, <laughs> life is rich with irony. It really. Just is. remember that principle. Yep. Yep. Uh, and so, eat right, get your vitamin D, and I don't know. Let's just. Help, help us preserve our health. We'll help you. You help us. We'll all help Thank each you. other. Thank you, TSM. Hey, you guys have been very reassuring and, and loving. And thank you yes. for, all oh your, my gosh. for all your kindness. I'm going to read all the notes again and probably cry. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate you all. Okay. So we will uh, we'll sign off. With love and gratitude. Yes. Um, and we'll do it again soon. And uh, we try to be try to be fearless and less depressed. Yeah. Um, we're good. But we're yeah, good. We're smiling. We're gonna we're gonna go walk in the sun now after this live feed. Yeah. Um, um, Poe will be happy about that. Yeah. Okay. I keep seeing these great comments. God bless you. Says uh, Philip, thank you. Uh, Frank Norad, see you soon. Okay, guys. Bye, Robert and and Juan. Many blessings <laughs> live forever to all of you. We are, we're all gonna live forever. <laughs> Maybe not here, but we'll all live forever. At some point, right? <laughs> you cannot you cannot destroy. And we're all one. Energy so. cannot be destroyed, right? Yep. Or something exactly. Like that. Okay. <laughs> Love you all. Thanks. Love to all.